Today I'm going to speak about things my dad used to do that used to confuse me. Things that made me say, what? Really? Huh? And here's the first one. You see, my dad was very smart and strategic on how he used to answer things. If you asked him to do something, he'll say yes. But then when you were about to do what you wanted to do, he'll say something to make you feel like an idiot if you do what he said you could do. I know, it sounds confusing. Check this out. Dad, thank you so much for allowing me to go to my friend's birthday party. <clears throat> no problem. Thank you. I'm about to put my shoes on that I'm leaving. Okay, Dad. Okay, what? Dad, I'm going to the party. I'll see you later. No, you won't. Because if you leave this house, you no longer live in this house. But Dad, you said I can go. You can go. You have the green light. All I am trying to inform you is, if you go, you can't come back. Come on, Dad. That's not fair. You said I could go to the birthday party. Crave Ford, stop talking and go. Thank you. Hey. But remember, you can't come back. It's okay. I don't want to go anymore. Okay. That is also good. That is good. But Crayford, do not be mad at me. Remember, you made your own decision. I said you can go, but you yourself said you are no longer going. So don't be mad at me. Be mad at yourself. Okay? Yes, Dad. Honestly, my dad's insults used to confuse me all the time. He would compliment me and then insult me at the same time. How do you start an insult with a compliment? It's like buying somebody a gift, wrapping it up real nice, then putting a bow on top. And then you're excited, you're happy. Then you open the gift and then there comes a punch right in your face. That's messed up, I know. Confusing, right? Check this out. Crayford, why is your life like this? Sometimes I want to go to your mother and ask her, are you sure this boy is from my DNA? Because the way you act does not remind me of how I was when I was your age back in Ghana. In school, you are not top of your class like I was when I was your age. In this house, you don't want to do nothing. Simple chores that I give you, you don't do. Then I come home from work and I have to yell at you. Crayford, he will compliment me and then insult me at the same time. You are a wonderful fool. You understand? You are a wonderful fool. You are wonderful. Okay? That's what you are. Wonderful. F W O L. Okay, you just heard all the things my dad was just saying about me. Saying I'm a fool, saying I'm not top of my class, I'm not serious, I don't do anything in the house. Basically, I'm no good. But when guests used to visit the house or if he was on the phone with somebody, he didn't speak about me that way. Things got very confusing. He sounded like this. Oh, everything is good. Thank you so much for asking. Oh, Crayford? Crayford? Oh, where should I start with Crayford? Crayford has met and exceeded all my expectation for him. Hey, in school, he is top of his class. At home, he cleans, he, he's always studying, he's doing Bible studies. This boy is exceptional. He is wonderful. This boy, he is wonderful. Oh, I don't know. And I, I just thank God for blessing me with such a, a, a wonderful um, child. Thank you so much for calling. Okay, God bless you. Bye-bye. You, this boy, you see what I'm telling people about you? I am speaking blessings and positivity onto your life. Don't make me a liar, okay? Live these words that I am speaking. Get these words. Yes, Dad. All right, now this one right here is the most confusing. This right here used to blow my mind. You know what? Check this out. Crayford, I cannot take it anymore. I am sick and tired of your beautiful nonsense, okay? How can your teacher call me at work and tell me that they had to take you to the principal's office because you kept talking and talking? Hey, eh? what is your problem? What is your problem? Yapa yapa yapa. Every day. Yapa yapa yapa. Hey, you won't shut your mouth. You won't shut your mouth and learn and be top of your class. Let this be your first and last. 
You understand? Do you understand? <laughs> okay, so you guys just saw what just happened. My dad just smacked me. I'm holding my cheek and I'm crying. Now comes the most confusing statement in the world. He's going to ask me this. Crawford, why are you crying? If you do not stop this, you're crying. I will give you something to cry about. Oh, after that statement, I stopped crying right away because after a smack like that and he feels it does not deserve tears, do you think I'm going to keep crying to find out what is worthy of my tears? No, I stopped crying right away. Bye -bye.